Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Lips again with a short two minute M Show video. What every maker should have one of is one of these uh, fiberglass cleaning brushes. Um, they basically all work the same. Uh, you uh, can turn the knob to uh, get the, the brush more outside or inside. That's even for uh, replacing the brush. And uh, there are two things um, that are uh, quite important uh, when you work with them. You should never try to clean anything that's uh, wet, like uh, the residue from leaked batteries, because uh, the brush itself sucks up any moist or any liquids and then it becomes useless and you can throw away usually the whole uh, brush and replace it with another one because today most of these uh, fiberglass brushes have replaceable uh, brush tips and um, so you should only try to clean oxidized dry surfaces like uh, cleaning rust or something like that. And they are also useful for something else. For example, if you want to remove the uh, solder mask um, to get down uh, to the copper layer of a PCB, uh, it takes only a few seconds to rub with the br brush and you get the solder mask slowly um, brushed away and you already can start to see the copper. You even have to watch out when you have very thin copper layers. It only takes a few seconds and not only the solder mask but also the uh, copper trace is gone. And uh, that's quite useful if you want to probe at copper traces where you otherwise cannot reach with your uh, probe tips. And uh, so a quite a cheap universal a uh, tool that every maker should have and uh, that every lab should have one at hand. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye from Kanka Labs. Bye from Roger.